Suppose you invest $160 a month for eight years into an account earning 5% interest compounded monthly. After eight years, you stop making deposits into the account and leave the money in the account for another 10 years. We're asked to determine the account balance after eight years, the account balance after 18 years, and also determine the total interest earned. In this video, we will answer the questions using the TI-84 TVM solver. And we'll have to use it twice, once for the first eight years when you make monthly deposits, and then a second time for the last 10 years when you stop making deposits but leave the money in the account. Let's begin by determining the account balance after eight years by determining the information from the table here required to use the TVM solver. Capital N is the total number of payments over the eight years, and because you make monthly payments for eight years, big N or capital N is going to be the number of months over eight years, which is eight times 12, which is 96. The interest rate is 5%, which we enter as five. We do not convert the percent to a decimal. PV stands for present value, which is the beginning balance. When you open the account, there's no money in the account until you make the first deposit, and therefore the present value is zero. PMT stands for payment. You make a monthly payment of $160. Because you pay that amount, PMT is negative 160. FV stands for future value, which we are solving for, so we'll come back to this. PY and CY stands for payments per year and compounds per year, which are both 12. And we always leave the PMT option on end, not begin. And now going to the calculator, we press apps, enter on the finance menu, and enter for TVM solver. Big N is 96, the interest rate is 5%, Present value is zero. Payment is negative 160. We'll come back to future value. Payments per year and compounds per year are both 12. If we enter 12 for one and press enter, it automatically enters 12 for the other. And we have the PMT option on end, which is correct. We go back up to FV for future value and press alpha enter to determine the future value which the nearest cent is $18,838.48. And now after eight years, you stop making deposits and leave this amount in the account, earning compound interest for another 10 years. So the account balance after eight years becomes the starting balance that earns compound interest which means the present value is going to be negative $18,838.48, as if you were depositing this amount into the account that's earning compound interest. And big N is the number of compounding periods over the 10 years. The interest is compounded monthly for 10 years, and therefore big N is 10 times 12, which is 120. The interest rate is still 5%. There are no monthly payments now, so PMT is zero. We're solving for future value, and the compounds per year are 12, so we set both payments per year and compounds per year to 12. If it's helpful, we can think of payments per year as the interest payments per year. Again, because it's compounded monthly, both are 12. So going back to the TVM solver, we go back up to the top. Capital N is now 120, or big N is 120. Interest rate is five. Present value is negative 18,838.48. There are no monthly payments, so PMT is zero. The future value is unknown, we're solving for this. Payments per year and compounds per year are both 12, and the payment is set on end, so now we can solve for future value by pressing alpha enter. To the nearest cent, we have $31,027.16. And now the last question asks us to determine the total interest earned. To determine the total interest earned, we start with the ending balance after 18 years of $31,027.16, and we subtract the monthly payments of $160 a month for eight years. So we subtract 160 times the number of months in eight years, which is eight times 12, which gives us 
27.16 minus 160 times 96. And going to the calculator, to go back to the home screen, we press second mode for quit. And we have $31,027.16 minus $160 times 96 which is equal to $15,667.16, which is the total interest earned over the 18 years. I hope you found this helpful.